Okay. Um, here, recording on the video, uh, all the proofs of the existence of God. I have almost or approximately a thousand different proofs of the existence of God. I'm going to try and look more into the camera. Uh, there's problems with the com camera stopping. There's also problems. I'm reading too much. So, also, we'll see. Well, there's problems with the sound. I improved the lighting, but I don't see it's going to help. So what happens? Okay, there's first uh, it went up to <laughs> maybe up to uh, with her now maybe up to a thousand proofs for the existence of God. Okay, um, okay, number one, proof of God influenced by Moses, the creation of the world since an infinite magnitude amount of time could not have elapsed to reach our time. What is infinite? cannot be completed, but there must be a creator to start the series of causes. According to special relativity, mass and energy are interchangeable, and quantum mechanics considers matter and waves, energy, as interchangeable. If so, the universe is not necessarily existent and can be created. Did God create the universe out of energy? Aristotle says that creation of nothing is impossible. Rabbi Eliezer wondered if the world was made from the light of God's garment and the snow under his throne, question mark. Maimonides interpreted creation of the world as, quote, in principle, God created the heaven and the earth, unquote. But he did that for other reasons and held that creation would occur in outside time, if it occurred at all. Okay, proof number two of the existence of God Influenced by Moses, perfection of the world. God saw and it, that everything was good. The theological argument. We attribute great order and perfection to a higher intellectual power. The more perfect the world, the more perfect the creator. But some have objected that given enough time, the universe will have emerged on its own to this level of perfection. And the universe is very old, billions of years. That is, if stones fell down, they could eventually write Hollywood on the mountain in Los Angeles. Or a monkey could write Plato's Republic. This is hard to believe. But really, the main objection is that to account for a great perfection, you assume an even greater perfection. So you make it worse. I.e., what will account for the new perfection and so on, but can refute both objections using their premises, ironically, by adapting Darwin's theory of evolution. If man could have evolved out of nothing, then why not God too, since there was enough time for that also. A little note, Einstein estimates the universe to be about 14 billion years old, and many physicists agree. Okay, proof number three of the existence of God influenced by Moses, gender. Male and female created he them. Humanity is linked together in a special. In a, humanity is linked together in a special way since they can create children together, and have so for and done so for thousands of years. Women was created out of man. So it explains the unique ability of a couple of people to have children because they are physically biologically and psychologically compatible, a better explanation than evolution. The theory of evolution would be hard-pressed to explain how two beings can have a child together at a time which the knowledge of such a process is, is completely beyond their knowledge. Dor Darwin even said that male and female have a relationship which is like members of a different species of the same genus, yet he did not see this problem. Okay, proof of four, number four, a perfect prerequisite, the tree of life, i.e. immortality of man is possible, but it is kept away till the time is right and life is perfect, so we will have paradise. The proof is as follows, life of humanity on earth is a perfect pre prerequisite for future heaven, and this is a very strange coincidence. Unless someone is intending for us to go to heaven, for it is extremely unlikely that nature would do this by accident. The world is a perfect prerequisite for heaven since a. 
part of that requires human strife to, to earn life. B. Evil is justified because man must be given the dignity of limited free choice. C. Man helps participate in the creation of heaven. D. Life on earth gives man a, a noble creation story which can be studied forever. E. Life on earth gives people different attributes in a fair way. F. Man is very great. He is said to be in the image of God. G. Man needs God since the world is getting too complex to handle. H. There have been great spiritual leaders in history. I. All men are religious to some degree. J. It is very incredible that technology was allowed to develop at all, and it seems virtually limitless, limitless in its potential. So someone, which we can only, which can only be God, may, must be responsible for this coincidence. And so, since he does not act in vain, he must make us immortal. After God and man are ready. Let Aristotle be A and Rambam, or that is my mother, be R and Kant be K and Einstein be E. If add B for the author, then get break, which can be a metaphor for man breaking into the transcendental realm by his own intellectual pursuits. Our approach. 5. Proof of God influenced by Newton, survival. Today, unlike at creation, which was, which was thousands of years ago or much more, we can see that the universe has, some, has come a long way and it seems to be en route towards paradise in its design. Man has made incredible progress in science, philosophy, philosophy engineering and the arts, which, with, with so many obstacles in its way, like the need to satisfy human needs, natural calamities, availability of resources, need for man to work hard, and wars in just about every year of our history. It is necessary to believe that God helped us to make it this far. Even our day-to-day -day existence depends on the precise motion of the earth around the sun, 150 million kilometers away from us, or vice versa, and a slight deviation would bring about our death instantly. Yet surprisingly, this has not occurred for thousands of years or longer. Okay. Proof of God number six, influenced by Moses. Great prophecy. Moses may have been the first to claim that God exists because he saw him. Perhaps the, he even claimed that he saw God face to, face to face, unlike the general rule that prophets see God through a vision or a dream. And the complexity of the creation story, the account of the beginning, substantiates it. And the prophecy claims that people who, who hear of the, command, of the commandments listed in the Bible will see it's their wisdom. My, my mind is analyzes their logic. Proof 7 of God, influenced by Moses, miracles. God did miracles in creating man and in making women out of man and so on, and both of them remained alive, and Moses did miracles later in front of people. Okay, proof of number 8, the existence of God, influenced by Moses, freedom. Genesis story claims that we have freedom. Kant says that if we have freedom, then we need God to ensure that happiness of a person is proportional to morality. This is a law of providence. So that man is beyond the rules of nature. Man, many great intellectuals deny that we have freedom at all, e.g. Aristotle, Maimonides, and Einstein. Some even deny that God has freedom. Aristotle argued that change presupposes composition, so a simple being cannot change. And he argued that all change is a transition from potentiality to actuality, which requires an external agent. But the law of causality can be broken if there is an element of randomness in what sensations and ideas enter our mind. And since we are always in act, we can choose among them all, uh, among them at will. Should, should distinguish between potentia in the sense of being not existent and real world in the real world. And at all, and potential not existing in actuality, and existing in an existing being in the real world. Change in the former may be impossible, but change in the latter may be possible. Okay, number nine. Proof of God, justice on earth. A careful analysis of the world of man should reveal divine justice. Maimonides holds that people hold 
the order of value of human perfection in the opposite manner than the manner held by the philosophers. St. Thomas Aquinas also holds that this is so, and he, so he says that this is why people don't see that there is justice in the world, but to know if there is justice on earth, it may be necessary to know if there is pa paradise after this life. But if God exists, then this is obviously so. A proof of God number 10. God is alive. Creation is an act of a living being and not an inanimate force. Since the world was created for a purpose, it was intended for man to live in paradise with God. But nature, on the other hand, does not need man no, nor will it guarantee him a world like paradise. E.g. God created woman since man needed a companion. But today it would seem that paradise is possible, since the world is much greater than we imagine. And humanity is ready, so God cares about man, or loves humanity if he created them and put them on the journey towards paradise. But love is an emotion of a living being. Why would God tell man to multiply if he did not need humanity? At, the, at that time, sacrifice of flower, animals, etc. was the manner of worship, and so was followed by Cain and Abel. If God was nature, non-living, then, then he would have no motivation to create. And if, and if like begets like, then how could a non-living being Thing, create a living thing question mark we also need God as the source of the soul of each man as Genesis said God gave man his soul uh, add proof that we have a soul more like from God if it is immortal so add that also okay proof of God number 11 influenced by Moses the image of God so Genesis implies that man is as, is, close, is as close to being God as possible. He's as great as God could have made him. This is a proof since nature would not achieve the ultimate possible in creation, but only some random or intermediate level of, per, or perfect, of perfection. For nature's creation, a, a greater and greater perfection would be less and less likely because of the great odds against it. And man is truly great. Although th this is difficult to see since much of the greatness requires deep introspection. And many of his powers have not been developed fully by us. Uh, have not de developed fully by us. Some of them have to be added to him, for example. But we have come a long way in seeing how great man really is in theoretical and practical creations of all kinds. Twelve. Number 12, Proof of God, influenced by Moses and Aristotle. There is a paradox. The creation of God. If God created the universe, then who created him? Question mark. Must he also have existed, existed an infinite time before the creation of the world? Question mark. Unify Moses' and Aristotle's view of God? Question mark. Something Maimonides failed to do. How? He saw God as being outside time. So we need to prove instead that God was like Aristotle's God, i.e. the prime mover which was outside time at the previous state of the creation and then he underwent a transformation and entered time and was more like the God of Moses which was in time and planned the universe and created it. And the proof of God number 13, optimality, malady. Mathematical proof from, from operations research. Need to use linear or nonlinear programming techniques to prove that the world is optimal, that is maximum perfection possible. So God must have created it and rules over it, but may need to extend the mathematical methods to optimization to simultaneous object functions and constraints, which include differential and integral operations in complex variables.